Okay, so let's get started with how to design your website with Wix for your cosmetology brand. So after you create your Wix account, it should take you to a screen that looks similar to this. You're going to want to click Wix. Editor X is our very complex platform that, you know, if you decide to become a web designer, we'll get into that. Then from here, it's going to ask you what kind of website are you creating. You want to put, you know, hair salon, cosmetology, whatever you want. You know, and, and they'll come up. Um, then as you see, some of the things I was telling y'all about, we do have bookings through Wix. Uh, there's online storms, there's online store, there's forms, um, there's Instagram feeds. So there's lots of different options you can auto select. Um, I personally like to add those things myself. So I usually just click none of them and click next. And again, it's going to ask you, do you want to use Wix ADI or just stick with the Wix editor? You want to click the Wix editor. And then you're here. And so you kind of get multiple options. One is you can use one of these templates that are already provided for you. It's probably going to be your easiest route because they're already here. You don't have to try to figure out anything else. It's, I mean, it's provided. So, um, Definitely see that as a tool and as a resource that you can do if you're not trying to learn how to design an entire website, right? We're not website designers here. We're really just trying to have a salon. Um, but if you want to be, you know, more ambitious, you know, like myself, then we're going to want to go ahead and actually start from scratch. So we're gonna click blank templates and then start from scratch. Now I am a website designer, so I am a little biased. I like to do everything from scratch. I find it in the end to be a lot easier because I know where everything's at. A template, because you didn't design it, you don't know where everything's at. It's kind of like when you're doing someone's hair after somebody else, you don't fully know what they did because you didn't do it. And I feel the same way about websites. I, I like to know where I put everything so I can easily fix it later if I have to. And so um, the key tr couple of tricks that we're gonna use with website design. One, we wanna go for functional, not fancy. And I repeat that, functional, not fancy. Two, is for the most part, especially starting off, which we are all going to be beginners, right? We're not trying to become advanced website designers here. You want to use white to your advantage. White is not a bad thing. White in or black backgrounds. Because once you start adding in other colors and patterns, it can get more tricky, especially if you do not know what you're doing. Third, you do not want a whole bunch of glitter and cursive. We're trying to have a professional brand. Um, not an amateur brand. And so use white to your advantage or use black to your advantage. The other thing is websites can really be strip based. You want to put everything in a strip and you want to stay inside these dotted lines, which are called margins, because this is what assures that your content is viewable for all screen sizes on the desktop mode. And so that is a primary thing that we're going to be doing. Everything's going to be in a strip, right? We're not going to do anything outside of a strip. And after we make our home page, every other page, with maybe the exception of the contact page, will just be a duplicate of one another. So we don't have to keep formatting it for each type of page. Again, we want functional. We don't want super fancy. We want the website to do work for us. That's the end, the end goal. Um, so first, we're going to start with our header. So the header is always the lines above at the top right here. 
So we're going to use the add button. And we're going to use strip. And we're going to click black. I don't know why I always use black, but I do. I think because I can tell what's the difference between page and not page. Yes, page and strip. And then push it up until it says attached to header. Boom. You're done. Okay. Then push it up. Your header's done. I'm going to eventually change this to white. Then second, you use this plus button. We're going to do another strip. I personally like doing full across photos. Um, but you don't have to. If you want to do the full across photos, it's called interactive. And then they have these full width slideshows so that you can add different photos. Again, you don't have to, but this is what I personally do. So you click it. Boom. That section's done. Remember, we got to have an about us section. So we're going to use the plus button under it. Strip. About us. Um, if we have an Instagram, we can do that as well. Uh, but in this case, we do not. We're going to do strip contact. We're going to pick one of these. I usually use the yellow one. Boom. That section is done. As you can tell, everything we're doing is strip base. Um, and the form is going to load. It just takes a good time. Then everything under these dot lines, we need a footer. So the footer operates a little bit different than the header. So I'm going to click the plus button again. Black strip. And then I usually make this kind of small. And then you have to push it down until it says move the footer and then click move the footer. And then size it up to the blue line. That's it. The whole home page structure wise is done. And then again, we're going to make sure this looks a lot better. So don't fully look at it now. By, oh, well that, that doesn't look done. It's not. Um, again, we're going to change strip background to white. We're going to use white to our advantage. Then you're going to click under this plus button. It looks like a piece of paper. It's called pages. I'm going to click that. Then you're going to click add page. And feel free to stop and pause this video from going too fast. And as you can tell, there's already pre-made web pages here. So you can actually select these and go about your day. Uh, but you have Vincent. We're not going to do that. That's not how I work. I'm going to click blank page. And we're going to click about. We're going to call this the about page. Or about us or about me. You're done. You're going to do add strip in the top. And then you want to make sure it's a good size. I like to usually do times two eyeball amount of the header. And you want to get a nice background. Oh, um, so with background changes, you want to just click change strip background, um, image. And then you can usually select whatever you want. Um, because this is cosmetology, I'm going to put in like hair, I guess. And as you can see, it comes up with um, some stock photos. That you can utilize. And you can pick whatever you want. It doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong answer. You can also change it. You don't have to stick with it. I don't really know what I want to do. Um, here, I guess I'll use him. I don't know. We might change this later. Um, it doesn't even have to be necessarily cosmetology related. If you want to use, you know, a brick. Sometimes I love brick. I don't know why. Um, you can use brick. Also, there's a button down here called Unsplash. This actually has 
even way more images than Wix. So you can search around here and get, you know, more idea, more images that may fit a little bit better. So you're not restricted to, you know, one area. Okay, so now that we have that, usually once you get your image, I click settings and then I darken it up just so I can add text on top of it. You can go back to this add button, click text, and then add your text here. And then you want to make sure you center it or you can keep it there. It's kind of up to you. Um, I usually use white just because it's on a dark background. And you're going to put the, the name of the page. Got it? About us. Then you're going to add another strip. You can either do a blank. Or you can go down to ones that said about. And add your strip. Um, it's kind of up to you. Uh, usually speaking for me. I like to either do a blank one or I like to do a side. Um, again, it's up to you as the individual. There's no right or wrong answer. So when I do a blank one, then you have to click the add button, click text, and you want to do paragraph text. Usually your paragraph text should be anywhere between 16 and 20 font. So you just want to double check that it's that. And then that's where you would add the information about your business. Okay. Then from your header, you want to really put this into two columns. So you want to right click on it and then where it says add column, you want to click that, click this little layout button, and then usually do 25 to 75 or 33 to 66. And this is for a reason. In this section, you need to stay within the column margins and add your menu. And this is going to become more important um, here momentarily. So now that you have us about us section, remember, we have multiple pages we have to add on. So you're going to click these three little dots and you're going to duplicate for each page that you need. So we don't need necessarily a contact page, but we're going to go ahead and add it anyway. So contact us. Remember, we're supposed to have a services page. So three little dots, duplicate. Services. We're supposed to have a gallery page. So we're going to duplicate gallery. And now we've technically done all of our pages. Our booking is again going to depend on what app we want. So that kind of has to be just linked. Here you're going to click manage menu. On the top, click add menu items, site pages. And then you want to click select all pages and apply. So now you have all your pages for your website. Then you want to just go through all your pages and rename your headers. Gallery, go to pages, click services, make sure you rename them all. And about us. So in these sections is obviously where you would put all the information at. 